Hello everyone, welcome to our English channel and in this wonderful occasion, I am Pak Fifi Khwanul Muslimin would like to discuss about TEL. What is TEL? TEL stands for Technology Enhanced Language Learning. It deals with the force of technology on teaching and learning a second language or also called SL2. The Technology Enhanced Language Learning refers to the use of computer and other tools as a technological innovations to display multimedia as a means of complementing a teaching method language teacher. So here, the technology is not always related to computer. So technology can be anything that is a product of technology. It can be LCD projector, it can be scissors, it can be any kinds of media that can be used um, to help the teaching and learning and it is also the product of technology. So there is a discussion about the difference between call and tell. Call stands for computer assisted language learning, which means that we learn the language by using the computer. When we have kind of software inside the computer, so it means that we are doing call. But what is technology enhanced language learning? So it means that we can learn any language with, uh, with or without computer. Sometimes we use mobile phone. Sometimes we use a kind of um, LCD projector. We have radio. We have another technology that we can use to aid our language learning. It's called STEL. There are some advantages to employ TEL inside the language learning process. The first one, using TEL provides a lot of flexibility and charter to more learning styles of language learners compared to traditional styles of teaching. Second, TEL can be used alongside textbook for a much more in-depth learning experience. So we still have a textbook, but we use a TEL to understand deeper the language that we are learning. TEL turns the classroom into a student's chartered environment. For example, students can select order in which material is presented to them. So students can choose which one is um, become their priority and which one is less priority. And students have to control the material presented to them so they can decide which one can help uh, the students to learn easier and which one is harder to be left aside first. The students can control the pace of progress. Then students can control how far they work with the language learning. Then tell improve motivations and develop better students attitudes. As we know that students in 21st century era, they tend to use technology to help them to learn. And the last one, learning is not convened to the area within the classroom environment, which means that students can learn anytime and anywhere. But there are some disadvantages to employ TEL inside the language learning process. The first one because of cost, cost of technology and media, and the teacher should be comfortable and familiar with the technology. And technology is not 100% foolproof. And the access issues outside the classroom, sometimes students have difficulties to access the internet. And there are inability to, to have the facilities and the last one, problem of too much work done by the computer. The language students must not rely entirely on the help system of language software to guide them through exercises, but must make conscious effort to attempt exercises for a better learning experience because the computer sometimes cannot provide the real life context of language learning and language communications. But there are some opportunities by attending tell inside the classroom. The first one, students can learn with the authentic tasks. For example, when we are talking about um, English as international language for students in Indonesia, then of course we do not have native speakers sometimes. We do not have the circumstances of uh, the English to use the English language. So we can use computer to help students to understand the context by attending um, authentic tasks inside a computer or a handphone or projector. Learners have enough time and feedback because sometimes we can use synchronous and asynchronous modes of learning. So there are some delay 
that can be used for students to have kind of feedback and to prepare themselves to be ready to learn. Learners work with the atmosphere, with the adult stress and anxiety. As I mentioned, because there is a possibility to have unsynchronous uh, learning models, so students can also manage the anxiety. They can reduce stress because they do not meet the real teacher in front of him or her. Students avoid anxiety because they are not faced, their performance are not assessed and judged by their friends. And learners' autonomy is supported. So nowadays we have a lot of um, innovations in technology that can be used by teachers and also students to develop their language learning. Like we have Kahoot, we can develop an interactive quiz, language quiz, or any other activities that can be uh, used by a teacher to interact students to learn and also to Im improve the students engagement in learning. We also have quizzes to develop quiz. We also have YouTube, Hot Potato, Mintimeter and also Instagram and other social media and one of the uh, prominent tools in internet is Grammarly that can help students to manage their uh, grammar to make their writings better. So, the use of technology can be beneficial for humans as long as it is used um, in a good way. So, it means that when the teacher employs technology inside the classroom with the noble aims to develop student communications, uh, to dig the student's potential, to improve the student's knowledge, increase student's motivations, and also to trigger student's creativity by, by training or task-based language, uh, teaching or problem-based learning. So it means that the teacher already developed a circumstance of good learning for students. But if the teacher use technology just for helping the teacher him or herself, for not uh, showing best effort to improve the student's um, learning experience, so it means that the technology will be kind of useless and hinder the student's potential for uh, the future competitions. So thank you very much and hopefully that these slides will give you kind of overview about the use of TEL and the existence of TEL inside the classroom. Thank you and see you later.